Day one. The tent is up. Thank God. Rain's arrived also. But girls are happy. We're all happy. Say hello everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. So one thing they didn't bring that I did. Slippers. Always a winner. Anyway, the other thing that no one else bought, but I did, is this. All the back issues. Where's the one that I got for free? That's in there as well. That's a prize that she won along with her fish. Anyway, she'll be reading that later and I'll be testing her on it. So, but for the meantime, <laughs> I'm going to get on to the koi talk and we'll check back later. So no koi today, but keep an eye out for the short if you haven't already seen it. Here today, with a marvellous poppy day. Hi, Say hello. Hi. We're, we're catching crabs, not that sort, so get that out of your mind. All here today, Mrs. is here, Miss Crafty Koi. Little Crafty Koi keeper. And say hello. Hey. She actually won it, caught it, not us, but hey, we're all together. We're in it to win it. A bit of squid. Crab line. Two quid. Three quid for a crab line, two quid for a bucket. Been sat here most of the day. Awesome. Down on the seafront, Poppy Day has now caught something quite incredible. Have a look at this. It's a baby. Just helping some of the locals, people, holiday makers, go to have found a little crab. But also, have a look at this. So, back off my holidays, which is always a pleasure, never a chore, to go out with the family on the holidays. So, put a couple of shorts on, cheers for all the lights and like that. It's uh, just a bit silly, but worth doing, isn't it? Gives you a little bit of memories when you look back, which is what it's all about. So, uh, the guy that was looking after me fish, video messaged me every day, just to give me an update on how they're doing. No problems whatsoever. Um, Got a second treatment of fluke to do today, uh, but before I do that, a little bit of pond maintenance. Next assistant needs a clean out. Um, I'll give it a bit of a vacuum. I'm going to dump the water on that vacuum uh, and then give it a top up uh, as part of the water change uh, today. I've also got the smaller pond as well, uh, needs a top up and uh, general maintenance with regards to filters, etc. So um, I've got been thinking a little bit actually about. What I'm going to do with the small pond to start thinking of um, what I'm going to be doing, moving my my stock across into that while I flatten the old pond and start the rebuild. Um, it's only a thousand litres, and I've got quite a lot of fish, so um, I've already moved some on. I might move a few more on yet. I'm not sure, um, but just the filter that I've got on there at the moment. So let's go up there. So, pond itself, you can see, it's only a thousand litres. Fish will look fab in there though. Um, 
can see it's an old old shoebox type filter. Um, it's got a decent quantity of water in there though. And it does quite a good job actually, uh, keeping the parameters at a decent level, tested everything and everything's good. Um, but what I'm looking to do is put in uh, a Nexus in here, a little small Nexus. Um, and the reason for the Nexus, I, I like Nexus for a good filter. Um, especially, um, I want to come across here, I'm thinking of uh, introducing that as a bio and then pushing it out again uh, onto a backy shower but I'm not sure if it'll work just from a single pump going through the same UV uh, in through a Nexus or even a bio filter, uh, a mechanical filter sorry, into a bio filter and then up and then down into uh, a backy shower so um, a little bit of advice from you guys would be nice if you've got any um, it may be that I need to run two pumps who knows but um, I'll, look, I'll look for your feedback on that if I can. Um, but in the meantime, this is what we're working with. Does need a little bit of a clean out, so we're going to be doing that. A um, little bit of a top up. So, sturgeon in there. Let's have a look at the fish quickly. Normal forms. We've still got a little bit on the on the aces still. It's like to be fair, I've been concentrating too much on the on the pond, and some of these looking a little bit worse for wear, which is a shame. Um, I heard back, looking fabulous. It's a good time of year for the aces because they all start to all start to change into their autumn colours. Um, you, you just see everything go, but I've got to give them a little bit of a tidy up. Yeah, this one here. One of my favourites, so with the new plans itself, I'm looking at coming out uh, to here. So, um, and then as you look back from the edge of the pond all the way at the back there, we're coming down and then we're going to go and cut across there. So, all in all, it's going to be about 17,000 litres. So, um, I am so looking forward to doing that, it's unreal. But the Skeeter's Broom, nice little place. Uh, nice little ferns in there as well this one's done remarkable but again it's a shame that i'm gonna, I'm gonna be moving these um and this tree um, potentially gonna start moving it around the back around the back here get move the uh, bug house that i built with me with poppy um that's done well we had robins in there this year moving the uh the little bug bug stack of bricks as well uh, and all the other junk that we've got down there um, that'll be going in behind the, uh, in behind the chickens. So, uh, you see a little fat rooster. Buck, buck, buck. Lovely jubbly. But, look through. That's the garden looking fairly splendid. But, anyway, enough about the garden. On to pond maintenance. So, yeah, I'm going to have a, a little bit of a vacuum. Um, uh, clean the pump out, it's looking like it needs a good pump, a uh, good clean out. Uh, and again, replace the water for a three stage filter. Uh, before um, adding the latest Fluke treatment, so I'm using Fluke, Fluke Solve Plus. That's the uh, what I'm going to be using for the next for the next treatment. I used um, I used the Lernex Pro actually, um, but it didn't shift them. But uh, they're not looking too bad as it does. Um, water parameters are quite good, eh? Bit of a pH plus, we sorted that out now, so. Yeah. As you can see. Uh, I'm thinking we might, might start moving some of these smaller fish um, across to the other side and start kickstarting that a little bit more. But all in all, I'm looking too, or three back, they say. Colors are looking fine.
pulled the pump out. And the amount of debris in there, it's not good man. It's the whole reason I'm doing my new pond. Well, you can see the shelves there, shelves up there, and then and around this side. You can see the debris that builds up here as well. You know? And I, I do believe that is where half of my problems are coming from, if I'm honest. The fact that I can't shift that all of the time into that. You know, that filter does a fabulous job, but when it comes to bacteria, if we can't filter it, it's just harbouring in there, in the water, you know, for all the gremlins to start reproducing. So, you know, that's the reason, and that is what motivates me every time I do this to, to push on to do a little bit more, so. clean man well it looks clean but all the rubbish that's on there that's what we need to clean out quick check over so as you can see in there as well all the waste build up in here and that's that's what we're battling against so i'm gonna give this a bit of a power wash out now poppy's gonna step back a little bit if i can get wet man Jet water's in there now, get rid of some of it, but stick them on with a bit of elbow grease sometimes. And then notice I'm doing this all from the water that's just come out of uh, See now. Yeah. A little bit there as well. Cool the wooden, so if you have a look in the water now, you'll see now the sediments all settled to the bottom, how dirty things do get. And that's, imagine if you don't keep on top of it what it actually turns out like so you know, that's why it's important to ensure you do regular maintenance with a bit of media let's find out I think that comes back sometimes on the return and the, and the koi give it a bit of munch up that's what I think anyway so, yeah. on this. right on to a putting this together. Now I know a few of you will be thinking what the heck is he doing? But what I like to do is I pump down into the club and that's why I like things like the and the aces do so well is they get a lot of this crap in the club.
Right then, the big pond's done, it's just topping up now. Do a little field house. Yeah. Needed a bit of a clean, the worst. I ain't gonna mess around with it and stir it all up until I turn the pump off. And I'll look what goes on there. So, it's good. so that's what you're left with after you take all the sponges and whatnot out. So, dirty murky water, which is perfect because it means that that won't get any of that in it anymore. So, take it over. tents demolish the lawn so media's out give that a good wash out and put some pond water in there some clean pond water in this give that a good disturbance up like you would with uh, the media um, in, in an excess so load of k1 mini in there as well um, put that in there to help with the filtration does a real good job actually it's about five to seven liters in that um, and then the normal uh, foam matting. So, yeah, I'm going to give that a clean out now. And then I'll come back to you when it's all done. So, I'll probably get annihilated for doing this, but it don't matter. It's the quickest and easiest way of cleaning out uh, your things. As you can see on there, a um, little bit of gunk in there, but it's not the worst I've seen. So. So, end results there, nice and uh, clean inside, ready for the, ready for all the media to go in. So, I'm gonna get on with that bit now. Just gonna reattach. Um, That's going in nicely, let's go and get the media. And what I simply do here is I add in a, a bit of K1 media as well to add an extra layer. So then, the other thing I like to add into that bag, especially with this type of filter, I like to put a little bit of a pure bond, uh, pure pond in there and I'll give it a little bit of a helping hand. I want to do that one now, okay. So open the bag up, just put a few of the little balls in there, don't need millions of them. Right so, and then all I simply do is then give that a little bit of a shake up and then add it into the into the filter. And then finally I put um, the matting in. Now just a little word of advice, you see there's two different areas you've got a flat surface and you've got a, a rippled effect surface now what you need to make sure you're doing is whichever way your filter or the water flow in your filter works you need to make sure you're putting the right grade and also the, the um, right grade matting in first so you need your coarse in first then your medium then your fine all right the fine obviously is the last layer so as it works it will take out the big particles medium and then the smaller fines as it gets to the, the final stage now you must always ensure that the rippled effect uh, matting is facing against the flow and the reason for that is you've got more surface area here and that is better for catching debris and also for bacteria buildup as well so it goes under there like so i haven't showed you the other two because i'm need two ones to get the first part settled in and then finally um, I use 
a graphite. Um, I use a graphite sack uh, to help put a little bit of a polish in the water as well, but I just need to tighten that up there with me. So the final part of the filter build up itself uh, is carbon. It's quite expensive. I have to change that once a month. It cost me about eight quid. Um, but it just gives a little bit more polish on the water uh, at the end of the day. And every little bit of filtering that I can get in this system is by far more beneficial for the fish that are in the, in the actual holding pond. So, right, next thing. Put the lid on it. And jobs are good. One. So, here we go. Uh, also give uh, a little bit more water out of that to the company for 20% uh, water change. So I use that to help wash the hoover out after I've finished it. So I've still got a little bit of debris over there. I'll take that out in a minute. And then uh, onto topping up. So awesome. Okay, top ponds all topped up. Hoover out as well. Thought it was a good clean. And that can lift itself out of the side. One looks good on this top for the other. Hey, second pond almost complete. So, uh, quick update it's just been cleaned out, as everyone's aware. I've been watching the video fully up to levels now. Bish bash bosh. Right, just ordered a new uh, switch box. So, that needs to be fitted somewhere over there and decided where yet um, but that's a positive and I'm looking for feedback just as a reminder guys for a little setup for when I put them in there when that goes and the new one comes but they're living in that so um, with regards to filterization so looking for some help and feedback from you guys I've got enough knowledge but it's always good to hear other people's opinions so if you could, come back and let me know. So then, last update from me. Fluke solves him. Um, they're still hungry. Eat me out of the house alone. Anyway, um, last update. I've got a couple more uh, videos lined up. They'll be dropping at some point. I've got bank holiday off uh, tomorrow. Um, in a few days, I've still bit short staffed at work so I'm having to cover at the moment so um, might not be bang on time but AO such is life um, thanks for watching I am almost at 200 subscribers which to me I can't believe it's took off so quick um, really really impressed with the, uh, the interest uh, especially all the uh, nice comments I get from um, the other Koi channels as well you know you are um thank you so anyway you've been watching crafty koi remember it's time to hit that subscribe if you haven't already done so drop us a comment give us a like and don't forget as my daughter keeps telling me you've got time to share that so share if you can so anyway this is crafty koi you have been watching me remember i'll be watching you and now it's time for you to enjoy the koi
nail. There's a nail, man. It's no good, man. Are you no. filming? Yeah. We've got to be careful. We've got to keep it still. Don't be like that. Because mm -hmm. right, I've got to cut all them bits out. Mm 